Well, hey, Gundam Maniacs, welcome to another episode of Gundam Explained. For this episode, we're going to look at the Bandai Figurize Mjorne Rembrandt, counterpart to the Sleta Mercury, which I built and customized, and I have a video of that if you want to check that out. But before we get started, if you haven't, please subscribe, and if you think this is a cool video, give it a like, and check the links in the description for the Discord, which is awesome to hang out in, and also ways you can support the channel if you're into something like that. There's some cool perks, too, but let's get started. All right, and here we go. Mjorne Rembrandt. Um, awesome to build. You know, uh, building Saletta was like the first I really dived into. Um, building action figures. I mean, actually, it's not true. In the other video, I talked about like the Star Wars ones. But I guess in terms of like anime girl figures, uh, typically that wouldn't be my thing. But these have been a lot of fun. Check out the other video I did about Saletta because I talked about how I customized her airbrushed a little bit. Uh, but today we're going to look at what I did with Mjorne. All right, now a quick look here, uh, just to kind of get an idea of, yeah, that looks like Mjorne. I mean, and, and you know, those legs, can't uh, forget those legs. Um, and, you know, the it, she is smaller, smaller than uh, Saleta. A lot of that has to do with uh, what's accurate in the anime, actually. Um, Saleta is a taller uh, female figure. Um, in the show, so as well as the figure, as well as the option part set, which I'm going to get to from Yorine as uh, the 30 Minute Sisters. They have the option parts set for them. You know, the build was pretty much the same thing uh, with Saleta as it was with Yorine. Uh, differences are, you know, with Yorine, she has a little you know, commander antenna up here, which is very easy to lose. So, uh, and we'll look at accessories in a second, but just to kind of look at the details. We have a sticker here, sticker for the shoulders, as well as the tie, which I thought was interesting. I might even go back and paint that because it was just a decal. I'm surprised where they have stickers on this versus the Saleta, but, you know, it gets the job done. Uh, that's going to be the same with, and you can even see some of it coming off here, um, the stickers on the the hands here, which, yeah, would be so much better with um, if I did some painting or some airbrushing. You can see the stickers coming off. I didn't do a top coat, so... Uh, that would probably help. So with Mjorne, there wasn't too much detailing that had to be done outside of how uh, she came, how standard she was, but there was a little bit I had to do. Um, and I think it was probably the hardest part of this. And in fact, I could probably go back in and fix it up. And that would be um, her legs. On these leggings here, there's the black stripe that goes down. I just used a Gundam marker to paint that in. It is a raised uh, part of the plastic. And so there is on the right and left side where you could fill it in, but it's so close at an angle to the other part of the plastic that, you know, some of it would easily then bleed over. I, I feel like between tape and maybe a proper airbrush or just the right uh, paint application, you might be able to get a better job done than I did. Although it's, that's the thing, it's not that noticeable. It, it is a lot uh, looking into a video like this, but when I have it, just standing on my desk. It's not something I really notice. We can look at her uh, from behind and see where uh, some, I, I didn't even do that good of a job from behind really and probably could have uh, done that a little better. But it also uh, leads into her shoes because the stockings actually show through on her shoes and I had to add it there. I mean, really, I'm, I'm being harder on myself than I need to because it, in the end it looks good. But that's really the only detailing that was required for her. And just like Saleta, they actually added the skin for her her stomach and behind her, but not as cheeky as Saleta was. Another interesting part with this figure is the hair, because um, she's got the long hair and it actually has its own uh, joint here, kind of like the ponytail that uh, Saleta had, but this one takes up a whole lot, um, especially when you're wanting to use the included stand, which, you know, for the figures, um, I'm actually just have their the stand arms just on a single stand. I mean, I have them together anyway. Um, takes up less space. All right, and to look at some accessories, I think it's the most unexciting part for me. I, man, I was taking some pictures. I didn't even bother with the accessories. She's got the little uh, watering thing for her tomato garden. I mean, that's cool. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. That is cool. I mean, I guess, yeah. If I want to recreate a new ending for episode twelve other than them being on the beach. It could be them tending the garden. Although even tomatoes are kind of triggering. Along with that is the shovel for planting. And yeah, I know there's a specific term that's used for a shovel 
that uh, worked in gardening. And another interesting one that almost seemed unnecessary, but is probably out there for a certain fan base, is changing her feet. So you can actually take off her feet, and that might be something you're into, but then you can also put on these other feet that I've actually also detailed. Uh, so it's as if she is uh, wearing her uh, leggings without shoes. Again, if you're into that, that option's there. Uh, it seems kind of cool though. It, it's, it's just funny because with uh, Soletta, you can't do the same unless you buy the 30 minute sisters add-on, which I'll show here in a second, and then you can add uh, barefoot Soletta if you wanted to. All right, and there you go, actually, uh, without shoes on, uh, bare feet. Yeah, if that's what you're into. Am I? All right, to continue slowly undressing these figures, here's uh, Murine with the 30-minute uh, sisters. Um, I don't know what type, type of accessory pack you'd call this. Um, you know, as cool as it is that it's like they're wearing a bikini, it's just that these things look like armor. Uh, bikini armor doesn't make sense. I would rather it just be straight up like a bikini or something. Um, but again, this is me fantasizing the beach scene that occurs after episode 12, after they blow up all the enemy mobile suits, they go to Earth, hang out at the beach. And, you know, like with Sleta, she comes with multiple faces and decals to actually put on. So you can, there's so much you can choose from. All the different expressions. Mjorne is that type of character, like Soletta, where they have so many expressions. I would want so many more faces to, like, do some uh, different variants. Uh, here's one where she kind of looks happy. Got the open mouth there. I kind of put the eyes looking to the side. Thought that'd be pretty cool. Um, I feel like there's maybe different ways you could do that. Here's the other one, which, um, yeah, I didn't top coat, so the other eye came off, and so that just looks creepy there. Um, yeah, maybe this can uh, kind of... Yeah, allow me to put on another set of eyes, but they come with duplicates. But still, um, yeah. Well, and there you have it. That is Mjorne, the counterpart to the Soletta uh, figurized Gumpla model kit. So I figure if you get one, you need to get the other. Not too much detailing is really required on it. So it was kind of a simple build. I just suggest um, probably taking some time with the leggings or the panel lining on that. It's not even really panel lining. Um, it's just actually painting incorrectly. Also, top coating. You saw where the eye came off of one of the faces. Uh, yeah, that was just the water slide decal. Probably should have top coated after that, so I'll probably get to that later. Probably do a little bit of a matte, maybe, so it's not as glossy looking on the face. Uh, but yeah, if I do those additional additions, then I'll probably have to do a follow-up video on what I did with them because I've recently been upgrading my airbrush game um, to be able to, yeah, get those small little touches uh, as well as... Uh, save money, I guess, on top coating by doing it through the airbrush. Anyway, that was it. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, like this video if you liked it uh, and subscribe if you haven't. But uh, we'll talk later.